Hey you guys, I'm Alex from Zaxworks. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model and texture a 3D version of the new iPhone 5S directly inside of After Effects. Alright, we're going to start completely from scratch. Remember, this is all done directly inside of After Effects. So to start, we need some pictures to model from. We need you know, an idea where to come from. So I, I have the back of an iPhone, the front of an iPhone, and the side of an iPhone. Remember, these are all just Photoshop files. So they're just pictures 2D. All right, so we're going to jump into After Effects, click on Composition, and create a new composition. I'm going to leave my settings at 720p and click OK. Next, we need, we need to create a solid. So, New, Solid, and make sure it's the same size as your comp and click OK. All right, now Effect, Zaxworks, and let's apply our Effect of Pro Animator and click Create an Empty Scene. Okay, so now we have a blank slate. There's nothing in our scene besides the program. So let's jump into the program to make our iPhone, to model and texture our iPhone. We're going to do that by clicking on this button right here. This will open our UI window. Okay, so now we, should, we need to jump into our modeling workspace. We'll do that by clicking on this button. and It'll give us everything we need to model, our object controls, our modeling window, and our 3D preview window right here. So to start, we're going to click on this button right here, which will load in a background image. We'll do that by clicking on the front of iPhone 5S and click Open. Zoom in a little closer. And let's start modeling. Okay, we'll do that by clicking on this shape tool and then this shape tool, which is the, uh, the rounded rectangle tool. We'll click on the top left corner drag down to the bottom right corner making sure all of our edges look nice okay and then let's worry about our roundness tool right here so this will change the roundness of our corners we will match those up nicely and there we go now we see that we have a fully modeled iPhone no not, not quite yet but it is the body of the iPhone it looks nice it has a bevel on it and it's beveled and it's, I mean, I mean, and it's uh, extruded so next we're going to Take the depth up a little bit, just make it a little fatter, it's a little too skinny for me. And then I'm going to change the bevel a little bit too because I thought the bevel was a little too thick. Okay, that looks pretty good to start with. Next we're going to come in and create the buttons on the side. We'll do that by clicking on this button to load in the side of our iPhone for another picture. And now we see we have this button but it's being blocked by our big body. So to get rid of this body or just temporarily you know, hide it, we're going to click on this visibility icon with a pen next to it, which will get rid of it inside of the modeling window. Um, if you click on this button, it'll get, it'll get rid of it inside the 3D preview window too. But we don't want that, so we're going to leave that on. Um, next, we're going to uh, come over here and make sure this tool is still selected. We're going to zoom in. And now we're going to draw the lock button. Get the circle tool to draw the plus volume button and the minus volume button. Great. So now we have our three buttons, but we don't have textures on them yet. And we can do this really quickly because we already have the image here. What we can do is we can select this object hold by holding down the shift key select object 2 so we have these three objects and click this transfer background button what this will do will it'll take the background picture and literally map it directly onto our buttons but only the parts that we want so this is the minus the plus and the lock area buttons um, and when we render it out over here you'll see it looks really nice so just so you can see this I'm going to turn on the, off the visibility of the background and zoom in a little tighter and we can see that we actually have a texture on this without any other hassle of having to go into Photoshop and map out anything or cut anything out. So that was really nice and handy. But the, right now they are not in the correct place. So what we need to do is we need to put them in the correct place by this info twirly down here. Uh, we're going to go to the left hand side just to see where we're at. Zoom in a little bit. And now I'm going to take the position of the X and pull it towards us. Then I'm going to rotate them towards the left, because they're the left-hand side of the iPhone. And I'm going to push them back so they actually sit in the iPhone. Next, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to change the, the 
scale of the bevel because it's just too thick right here. You see it just goes out too thick. So we're going to reduce that down. That looks good. Now if we zoom in here, we see that we have a nice rendered out bevel with a nice texture on it. Will actually look really good at the end. So let's go into our materials to do the rest of our iPhone. We'll zoom out to the front. Um, and uh, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to click on this square button right here in the color channel. And what this will do is it'll, it'll let me load in an image for a texture. I will bring in the front, click open, and make sure our object is selected and drag this texture into the number one material dock. What this will do is it'll take our texture and map it actually on all sides because our number one material dock is for the front, the outside, and the back right now. So what we can do is we can load, another, load in another image and then bring it into number two and put number two in the outside, number three in the back. So what we'll do is we'll take in a new material, click on the square again, bring in the side of the iPhone, and map it onto number two, bring number two to the outside. So there we go, we got rid of that, that nasty blue looking color, but the back is still not done yet, so let's do one more. Back of iPhone, click open, drag it to number three, number three to back and we see we have the front and now we have the back of the iPhone looking pretty sharp okay so right here we already have an iPhone that is modeled and textured and has a couple buttons if you want to go ahead and do some more buttons be my guest um, you, you know it's the same exact way as we already did these buttons right here just a little it takes a little more time just to keep doing buttons obviously so cool um, do with it what you want this right here will actually look really good just as it is and we can take this and we can now click OK and it'll actually put it into our After Effects scene we can then come over here and we can use comp cameras or we can integrate other parts into our scene right inside of After Effects we have a fully formed and beveled 3D version of the iPhone 5S hope this helped if you have any questions you can email us at support at zaxworks.com for my next tutorial i'm going to show you how to take this iphone put a different screen on the front and put a movie a moving screen on the front and then put some ray trace reflections and shadows and even teach you a little bit of pivot points see you then